after sleeping in our car for three nights it's gonna be luxury sleeping in our brand new tent we are staying at Töreboda camping a couple of nights and are planning on cycling along Göta canal it is one of Sweden's most popular and well-known tourist attractions. The plan is to bicycle from Tereboda to Sjötorp and then back. We have arrived at Tereboda and uh, we have a huge camping spot just for us. Look at this. So now we're having difficulties deciding where to put the tent. <laughs> yeah, it's like wood caravan. <laughs> yeah. What direction, how to put it. Oh yeah, we have no idea. So this is what it looks like from this perspective. The inside. This is one gorgeous tent. Ah. I love this tent. Look at this. Ah, you have a lot of pockets and stuff for yeah. stuff. And, yeah, it's huh? nice. So this is what you call glamping. Look at this mattress. It's huge. <laughs> We're gonna sleep so well tonight. Throughout the 19th century, the Jota Canal was a very important transport route for both goods and passengers. For a long time, I have really wanted to cycle along Jota Canal since I'm super interested in history. And I think Jota Canal is Sweden's coolest historical engineering achievement. Good morning, today we're gonna bicycle along the Jota Canal. How does it feel? It feels great. You're super excited. So we're gonna be biking for, I think it's like 20 kilometers one way, or that's our goal at least. And then we're gonna look at it as much as possible. It was built to connect the Baltic to the Northern Sea and avoid those Danish taxes. It's as much as 190 kilometers long and has 58 locks, of which 87 kilometers were dug by hand by as many as 58,000 soldiers. Crazy. And they used iron casted wooden spades as tools. Can't imagine. It was commissioned by this man called Balthasar von Platen, and the construction started 1810 and was completed 1832, so 22 years later. And it was really costly 9 million riksdaler, which is approximately 12 billion in 95. So, Hannibal, how did the first stretch feel? First feels great. <laughs> we are at Norrkvarn and we're gonna eat something. This is lovely for the kids, a mini pond. Well, Swedish engineering benefited a lot from the building of the canal. New techniques were introduced from England. Baltasar recruited a number of highly skilled English foremen for the project. The excavation work started in the small town of Motola, which ended up being a modern industrial town. At Motola workshop was where new engineers were taught and foremen received their training in these new production methods. On our way back to Töreboda, we got hit by some heavy rain, so no more film. That said, we loved the excursion and can definitely recommend it. Next up, we continue on to Motala and the famous stair of sea locks or sluices at Berg in Sweden. And we take on some more heavy rain camping in our car. Please join us. Don't forget to subscribe and like our videos.